In this video, I'm gonna show you how to put together this Delta Children convertible crib. And the reason I know how to put it together is because I'm having twins. So I already put one together. So if you bought one of these and you're going to put it together, I figured this would be a good guide for you. I do suggest that you read the manual completely through whenever it comes to safety of your child. It's a good idea. This is just a visual aid for you and I hope it helps. Step one, lay the box down flat and carefully take everything out of the box. Now there's a nice little picture right here that shows not to use a knife like this, a utility knife. And the reason they do that is because they don't want you cutting and marking up the crib. So just, just gonna pull this tape like this. First thing you have is the support for the mattress and the instructions should be in here or here. Read these and then you can put them right back in here when you're done. Now we have the front or the back. These are universal so they'll work for either one. It's a really simple design, but it can be confusing. I made a couple mistakes that I will go over as we do this. Here's the other piece. We have these two pieces, which again are the same. And then the two sides. And then your box of hardware attached to the crib right here in my case is the project registration card so if there's a recall or something you fill this out and they will notify you through the mail if there is a recall and then your box of hardware you have these are the legs that go right here and these are the brackets that go underneath here and then you have all the hardware here. It even comes with tools. So you don't need any tools really for this. Just keep in mind that there's letters here that will tell you where these bolts go. And this right here is just a bag of extra hardware that you don't need. It's nice that they label it extra so you don't have extra pieces and think you did something wrong. You will need all of this stuff. So if you are missing pieces other than that bag, you may have done something wrong. First step, so you'll need one of these and one of the sides. And then you're gonna need these long bolts and a couple of these pins right here. And then take your tools out of this also. One more thing you'll need for these steps coming up is these crescent washers right here. So take those out as well. All right. So this says left inside bottom, but these pieces are the same. They have the same label which is A in the instructions. So it doesn't really matter where you put this. You wanna take this piece, you see this channel cut out right here. This is gonna to go towards the inside like this. And you wanna make sure that these right here where you put the screws are facing the bottom. This is gonna be the bottom of the crib. As you can see, it says inside bottom right here. So, before you put these bolts in, you put two of these pins right here, and then there's slots on the bottom of this, or holes, you drop this in, and then you start one of these long bolts, Just drop it in like that, make sure you get it started so it doesn't get cross-threaded, start tightening it a little bit, now this driver right here has a ball on the end of it, so it makes it easy to have it at a slight angle. You don't want to use this to crank these down, but when they're loose to get them tightened up, it works really well. Before you tighten this all the way, you want to take one of those washers and it goes in with the round side facing this round bottom underneath this bolt. 
Now you just want to attach this loosely at this point. Do not tighten these bolts all the way. Next, grab the other side and you're gonna flip it so the bottom, where it says right inside bottom, it's gonna face up like this. And then you can take this and carefully hold it like that. I'm gonna grab this stuff. One bolt, one of those long bolts, one washer and two pins. And you're just gonna do the same thing on this side. I'll put the pins in here first this time. And then bring this around and start that long bolt in. Again, making sure that it threads in there first before you go tightening it. Tighten that up. Don't forget your washer. It's one thing that I forgot at one point. Now again, you don't want to tighten this bolt all the way just yet. So now you grab one of the sides of the crib and where it says inside bottom, you want that facing up. And there is also a spot right here and right here to put these pins. And that is where I messed up last time. I didn't put these pins in. I had to take it apart and put them back in. So make sure you put those pins in. Then you take that side of the crib, bring it under here, and there's holes in this where those pins will line up. Just put it in an angle and it locks it in. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six bolts to put in here. And those are the M6 by 45 millimeter, these bolts right here. Get these bolts started the same way. Make sure you don't cross thread them. And I'm gonna see if I can sneak my tool back here and just tighten them up loosely. Don't tighten everything just yet. And put the bolts on this side. Easy peasy. Now that all of those bolts are in there, you can tighten them all, but use the Allen wrench. Don't use the ball part of the Allen wrench. You want to have a good connection to that bolt head or you might strip it out. So just uh, go slow, tighten them up. And when you go to tighten these bolts, just make sure that washer is sitting all the way in there. So I'm gonna use the ball end of this and then I'm gonna switch so I don't strip the bolt. And tighten it up. If this is your first kid, you're gonna do great. I have one and I have twins on the way. Best piece of advice I could give you from having the first one is don't try and plan too much because really you don't know how it's gonna go, but everything works out. I have no idea what's gonna happen with twins, but you can only prepare so much. Get things like this ready, do what you can, and just experience it when it happens. But you're gonna do great, I promise. Now on this side, you're gonna do the exact same thing you just did. Make sure it says inside bottom here, that's up. Take the, what's called a stabilizer bar. Same thing, inside bottom. Make sure these grooves are facing the inside before you put this in. Put your pins in. Two right here, two right here. Drop that in, and then two on this end. I'm gonna put it in at an angle like this and then like that. And you can put all your bolts in. Do the two long ones. Don't forget about your washer before it gets too tight. Bolt on this side. And washer. I'm gonna put all these in snug. Not tight, just snug. 
and then I'll tighten them up when all of them are in. That just makes sure that I have everything where it needs to be and I don't have to fight trying to get bolts in. Now I can tighten everything up with my Allen wrench. Nice and tight. Once that side's all tight, you want to take these brackets and the last of the screws, all the small ones, or most of the small ones, are used to attach these. This is how the bracket goes, just like that. And then again, start all of your bolts before you tighten them up. This is where I cheated last time. I had a bit for my screw gun, but I won't cheat. Let's get those all tightened up snug and tighten them all up. And you can either do this as you go or wait until the end and put your legs on. They just screw into place. Boom. I'll do that three more times. Now we can carefully flip the crib over. Just don't want to scratch it up. Now we need to attach the mattress support. And this is where the convertible part of this comes into play. You'll see this three bolt holes right here or nuts that you attach the bolts to. I'm going to use the highest one. And the idea is as your baby grows, you go down and down further so they can't escape like they like to do. So looking at this, you leave the instructions attached like this and make sure you read whatever you need to read for the type of mattress that you need and all that good stuff. And these, you pull out like this, all four of them. There's two on the bottom here too. And this might be a good spot to have somebody help you out because you're gonna have to hold that frame up while you attach bolts in all of these bolt holes. But since I'm alone and I'm stubborn anyways, I'm gonna do it by myself. And my four bolts in hand, I am sure, almost positive, I'm gonna drop one of them at least. These get extended like this. But if you have somebody to help you, definitely get their assistance. Let's see if I can do it on my own. Let's get one started right here. Got one. Ah. Okay. Got two on the same side. It's a good sign. There's three and four. Not too bad. I'm gonna use this tool just to get them snug. Now I can tighten them with the Allen wrench. All right. This is what it's gonna look like. All around here. And the crib is assembled. Now the question is for me, is it gonna fit right here like I hope it is? Let's see. I think it's gonna be tight. I did measure it. Oh. <laughs> wow. That makes it pretty real. <laughs> Two on the way. I hope this video helped you out. As I said, it's just a visual aid for you to make things a little easier, and I hope I did just that. Wish me luck, I'm gonna need it, and good luck to you, you're gonna do awesome. Thanks for watching.